the excess value will not consider for remuneration up to 3 lakh 90 percent excess of 3 lakh 60 percent a warm welcome to one and all this is your other sir here lecturing with your student first grade college the temple of excellence and now we are discussing session 2 unit 4 of your income tax 2 under this we are discussing the topic called assessment of partnership firm under assessment of partnership firm we are discussing a complete problem in today's session in the previous session we done with a small problem similarly sometimes you may get 5 mark or 10 mark problem on this normally getting a 15 mark problem chances are very less now so agenda will be your meaning conditions as well as problems will go now problem number two we done with problem number one and problem number two in the problem number one i explained you how to calculate your remuneration under remuneration you know the format also and in the previous session i asked a simple question what is the standard limit or standard amount of calculating remuneration so many of you answered properly so congratulations for all now ram sham and kishore are partners of a firm with a equal share the profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2020 shows a net profit of 1 lakh your calculation starts from 1 lakh after debiting the following as per the deed deed means what remember deed means agreement Deed means agreement. Now, in this, whatever information they have given, we have to add back. Similarly, your last problem. Clear? Now, what are the things we are supposed to add back? Like salary to Ram, add 20,000 for Ram and Sham is 15,000. 20 plus 15, 35. Remember, bonus to Kishore, 15,000. Whatever bonus given to Kishore, we are supposed to take. Interest on capital to Ram 2000 in excess of specified limit. So 20,000, 15,000, 15,000, as well as 2000. Then rupees 20,000 paid for the rent of a business premises. So these are the expenditure they made. Commission of rupees 5000 was given to Kishore. Commission to Kishore. Now at the end, they have given one sentence in that compute book profit and the total income of the firm, assuming all the partners, working partners. Normally, while doing calculation, there are two things are there. One will be working partner, another one will be sleeping partner. What is the meaning of sleeping partner? He always sleep on bed? No. So sleeping partner in the sense, he is not actively involved in the business. Clear? Now, so if it is, it is a working partner, if it is a sleeping partner, there are conditions are there. While doing that particular partner, whenever we get sleeping partner in the adjustment, then I'll explain you what are the consequences, what are the conditions. Clear? For this problem, if there are working partners, no changes in the problem. Clear? Similarly, how you did your previous problem, similarly you will work out this problem also. If it is a working partner, no changes, no conditions, nothing, easily you can do. For your 1 lakh, we are supposed to add everything. Now, see, computation of book profit and total income of the firm in this. Your net profit is 1 lakh already given in the question. Now, so 1 by 1, salary of Ram, 20,000, Sham is 15,000. 20,000, 15,000. Next, bonus to Kishore, 15,000. Bonus to Kishore, 15,000. Interest on capital is 2,000 in excess of specified limit. So 2,000, that is the interest on capital then 20,000 paid for the rent it is not given for partners so it is not added into your book profit calculation then commission of 5,000 yes we are supposed to take we are not taking whatever rent paid like so in the previous problem we worked out like the few things like 
dividend dividend we have not considered whatever the rent paid we will not consider for your book value calculation now now add back everything you got 57000 earlier your net profit was how much 1 lakh 1 lakh plus 57000 it will become 1 lakh 57000 now so we got 1 lakh 57000 then less admissible remuneration now here it is a question of calculation of remuneration what is the format you know that up to 3 lakh 90 percent above 3 lakh 60 percent yes compare this value with 1 lakh 50 whichever is higher whatever the higher value you got you have to compare with what actual remuneration received Compare this, whichever is less has to be calculated. Now, as per this, admissible remuneration of working partners. So, 1 lakh, what is your book profit? 1 lakh 57. Is it more than 3, 3 lakh? No, it is less than 3 lakh. 1 lakh 57,000 multiplied with 90%. 1 lakh 57,000 multiplied with 90%. See? How much you got? 1,41,300. Now, compare 1,41,300 with your 1,50, whichever is what? Higher than. 1,50,000 is a higher value. 1,50,000 has to be compared with what? 1,50,000 has to be compared with your actual remuneration. I'll show the actual remuneration. See. 20,000, 15,000, 15,000 and 5,000. Commission to Kishore. We are not considering interest on capital. Why we are not considering means in the question they have mentioned in excess of specified limit. So it is exceeded the limit. That's why we don't consider for actual remuneration. Now, so total you got 50 out of 57, 55 you got. 1 lakh 50 or 55 whichever is what less whichever is less we go with 55,000 clear so 1 lakh 57,000 that is your book profit on that 90% calculated we got 1 lakh 41 or 1 lakh 50 whichever is higher take 1 lakh 50 and actual one whichever is less Take 55,000 out of column. So your answer will be what? 1,57,000 minus your remuneration 55. You got 1,2. This is your book profit. Hope you are clear. Your total income of form. So whatever we found out, this is book profit. After deducting your actual remuneration, we get your answer called total income of the form. It is easy or very easy? Very easy. If you work out another three or four problems, you will understand better. We'll work out minimum eight to ten problems on this so that you will be expert in this particular topic. Now, problem number three in this, Sri Ram and Raghuram are working partners. See, working partners. So, no changes, no conditions. Now, in a professional firm, which satisfy all the condition of sections 184 and 40B. See, what is this 40B remuneration? So, your remuneration calculation we are doing you know, 90%, 60%, 1,50. That section we call it as 40B. 40B will say all these rules. These are the rules we are supposed to follow because under section 40 subsection B, it says all this. Now, so they are not equal partners. Their ratio is what? 4 is to 1. Now, so what are the information they have given? Your income is 5,85,000. Not, nothing but your net profit is 5,85,000. In this, along with this, you have other information also. So this 5,85,000 in this, this is your gross profit. From that, we will minus all this general expenses. Interest on capital of partners. Donation to NDF. Salary bonus and other remuneration to partners. Depreciation. 
and your balance will be called as net profit. From 5,85,000 minus all the expenses, you will get net profit of 1,2,000, your answer. You have to start your problem with what value? 1,2,000 is your value. But other additional information also you have in this problem, which are general expenses to the extent of 18,500 not deductible, which are not deductible. Then interest on capital to partners is excess of rupees 15,000. How much interest on capital? Interest on capital it is 75. Out of 75, how much is excess? 15. The excess value will not consider for remuneration. You learned in the previous problem. Now, depreciation allowable as per IT. Here, how much it is given? So, depreciation as per your accounting is given 30,000. But, depreciation as per IT is 30 to 500. The difference we have to take. Here it is 30,000. But, as per income tax, 30 to 500. Remember, Normally income tax we do where? In the accountancy. Accountancy we calculate depreciation, but income tax also we calculate depreciation. Why? Because as per income tax we have particular slab, but as per accountancy we go as per number of month and number of days. But in the income tax we don't go as per number of days, we go with every six months. Every six months half depreciation, Complete 12 months is a full depreciation. Similarly, now you don't have depreciation unit. Nothing to worry. Why? Because for BCOM already you have done with your depreciation. Now, so 32,500, there it is 30,000. Take the difference. Then compute permissible amount of remuneration to partners. This much only you are supposed to find out. Now, Calculation of book profit. What is your net profit? 1,2,000 is your net profit. Where do you get this? I'll show you. 1,2,000 is your book profit. Now, for 1,2,000, you're not supposed to minus. You're supposed to add. What are the things you're supposed to add? Like in the adjustment, General expenses to the extent of 18,500 is not, deduct not deductible means what we are supposed to do? Add 18,500. Hope you are clear. Good. Then interest on capital to partner excess of 15,000. Now 15,000 only we are supposed to consider because out of 75, it is already taken. We have to take out how much? 15,000. This is done. Donation to NDF. So how much it is? So donation is not belongs to the partners. That's why we consider 25,000. Now, so we have taken how much? 25,000. Now, after donation to NDF, remuneration to partners, 285,000. How much remuneration? I'll go back. 285. So you have Salary, bonus and other remuneration, directly they have given 2,85,000. We'll take 2,85,000. So I have taken 2,85,000. Now add everything, you got 3,43,500. From this, so total you got 1,2,000 and 3,43. So if you add everything, you will get 3,43,500. Now add this. 3,43 plus 1,2, it will be like, so we got total of 4,45,500 in this allowable depreciation as I told you. As per accountancy, 30,000, but as per income tax, 32,500. Excess of 2,500, that 2,500 minus, you got 4,43,000. Your book profit is how much? 4,43,000. Up to book profit is done. Whether your problem is completed, no. What is the next step? The remuneration part. In the next session, I'll tell you which are the things added, which are the things deducted. I'll give you a separate slide for that so that it will be easy for you to understand. Now, so calculation of book profit of the firm for remuneration purpose, same procedure. What is your book profit? 4,43,000. In case of 4,43, up to 3,90%. Excess of 
60%. Now, out of 4 lakh 43, take 3 lakh into 90%. The remaining 1 lakh 43 into how much? 60%. Now, as per this, up to 3 lakh book profit of 90% is 1 lakh 50,000. Then, whichever is higher will go first. 3 lakh into 90%, 1 lakh 50. What is the excess value? Yes. So on 3 lakh, if you calculate 90%, you will get 2 lakh 70,000. Then, what is the excess one? Excess is your 4 lakh 43 means 1 lakh 43 is the excess value. 1 lakh 43,000 multiplied with 60%. So it is how much? 85. Total it is 3 lakh 50. Five. Now, 3 lakh 55 or 1 lakh 50, whichever is higher, 1 lakh 50 or 3 lakh 55, whichever is higher, your 3 lakh 55 800 itself, higher value. Now, this 3 lakh 55 800 and you know your remuneration, directly they have given, see. 285,000 remuneration of partners. Now, 285,000, whichever is what? Less. 285,000. So, minus, you will get, I'll go back, 443. So, this is nothing. 443 minus 443 minus 285, you will get 158,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. So, this is only your remuneration calculation. From remuneration, always remember the whichever is higher and at the end, whichever is less. These things you are supposed to follow. Now, I'll go back to your previous slide. Please take screenshot. Problem number two. Your solution part. So, continuation of your problem two. Problem number three. Your problem three, adjustment. Solution part of problem three. Solution of problem three. Yes. So, this is all about your today's session. Hope you worked and you understood the concept of your remuneration. Two problems we worked out, all two problems are your question paper problem itself. Now, so in this, what you are supposed to learn? You are supposed to learn how to find out book profit and how to find out your remuneration part. Once you're done with your remuneration from book profit, you are supposed to minus. Now, in this, the question is very simple. The question is very simple. There are two types of depreciations are there. One is as per accountancy and another one is as per your income tax. Again, I'll repeat, there are two types of depreciations are there. One is as per your accountancy, one is as per your income tax. Now, your question is very simple. Depreciation for computer. Depreciation for computer. As per income tax, what is the percentage? Clear? Simple question, depreciation on computer as per income tax, what is the percentage? I need as per your 2021 assessment year, okay? As per 2021 assessment year, what is the depreciation percentage for computer? So, we'll meet in the next session 